Hey everyone, we are live at 5 here at Broadway.com. It is Friday, February 15th. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we are joined by content producer Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. With the jazz hands. or Always. There's always quite Some handography. Handography. And a friend of the site. An the old adorable friend Max of the side. Crumb. How Ooh, often do they we say We love adorable? that guy. Is that a common adjective for Max Crumb? The yes. funny yes. Max Crumb? The dashing <laughs> Max Crumb? Um, he's here. He's on a new cast album. The uh, talented the, Max Crumb. The talented Max Crumb. There you go. The winning Max Crumb. Sure. Uh, the evolution of man with two ends. Oh. <laughs> That's a cast well, album. You know. We're going to talk about it. But first, today's top five. Now you have even more chances to fall down the rabbit hole. Oh, good one, Caitlin. Good one. Thank We're you. talking about Alice by Heart. <laughs> Max Crumb is very amused by everything that's <laughs> happening right now. Good. We're talking about Alice by Heart, which that's is, of a course, a musical by Duncan Sheik and Stephen Sater and Jesse Nelson. And we talked to Colton Ryan, who's one of the stars, just a, yeah, a little while ago. Anyway, they are extending again. And they haven't even opened yet, so... Popular. It's a hit. It's a hit. So this is MCC Theater, and it's extended from March 31st, that's its previous extension, to April 7th. You know who's in it? Who? Makeki Abimalakwa. That's... And others. Interesting. Um, this play... <laughs> what's happening today? It started on January 30th. It plays at the Newman Mills Theater at the Robert W. Wilson Theater space. This is a new space. It's a lot shiny. Of names. You, if you put your names. If, if they put your name on a theater, it means you gave them money. Or that you're very special. Or they like you. Or you're special. Like, I don't think Sondheim paid for the Sondheim Theater. And August Wilson, I don't think so. Um, nope. Anyway, it is currently in previews, and it will open on February 26th. And this girl just keeps on rolling. You're talking about Nakeke obi uh, Who else I think I've, I've heard that name about? obi Malekwe. <laughs> Nakeke obi Malekwe. I said it many times to learn how to say it. Okay. Okay. So she's in the cast of Alice by Heart, which is, as extended, formerly mentioned, a big hit <laughs> off-Broadway. Yes. Uh, we just found out she's taking over the role of Tina Turner in the Ooh. West End Ooh. smash Tina, which Beth and I enjoyed a few weeks we ago. We did. Uh, we saw the fantastic Adrian Warren play the role, Tony nominee Adrian Warren. She is leaving the show on April 13th, and they have now announced she will be bringing it to Broadway in the fall at a theater to be announced. Um, but uh, Nakake Obimalakwe will take over. In London. He was laughing because I really wanted to get it right, and I hope I, I did. I hope so because uh, she'll take over immediately on April fifteenth, so she'll go from Wonderland to Tina Land. Oh, I just came up with that. Really good. Very good. clever. Really good. Um, and then, uh, I, so Aisha Jawando will be the new alternate Tina at certain mm -hmm. performance. It's not. It's like one of those. It's almost a full schedule. It's a hard role, man. It's a man. lot. There's a lot going on. We talked on. about this before, but like, I, I don't know how Adrian Warren is still standing, but she is. She's super talented. So anyway, um, congratulations, Nakeki. Obi Malakwe. And we got some exciting news from Roundabout Underground. Roundabout Underground is going to do a musical. Can you believe it? Is it set in Wonderland? Is it another Alice in Wonderland adaptation? No, that's MCC. We're talking about Roundabout Underground, Paul. God. Well, there's a lot. I mean, it's okay, a listen, Is listen. it a Wizard of Oz theme? What is it? What? Well, actually, let me tell you, and I have a lot of papers here. Let me just tell you. There are three new productions set for mm. 20 20, which is weirdly next year. <laughs> anyway, let me just tell you the names of these plays. 72 Miles to Go. This is a world premiere by Hilary Bettis. What the End Will Be. Look, that's lower. 72 case. Miles to Go where? I don't know. Okay. Uh, by Jerry Brennan, Brayon Holder, which I'm sure I didn't pronounce correctly. And that is also where wor world premiere. I'm sorry, I can't talk. And then here, listen to this. A musical directed and choreographed by Michael Barres. Do oh. you remember that Michael Barres is a director? You did. Yeah, Bob Mackey uh, He's himself. Bob Mackey in The Share <laughs> Show. He's an actor, of course, as well. But he's also well. bringing back title of show for one night. He right? is Which for a benefit. Directed. So this, let me tell you what this is about because it's cool. When a charismatic songwriter, Harry, falls for clever chorus girl, Louise. Are you, in, are you into this? you say clever chorus girl? Clever. Oh. Okay. There, there's such a thing. I don't know All of I Manhattan don't, glitters. Why are, you, why are you gasping, Max Crumb? Max like Crumb. Like, like, I'm not saying chorus girls can't be clever. This it's just is not the, the most adjective that we normally hear. It's normally like stunning or, you know, the, Don't be limber. sexist. Limber. <laughs> this is the most entertained Max Crumb has been in quite a while. Gl All right, listen. All of Manhattan glitters with the blush of new love. But what happens when the sparkling fantasy begins to dissolve? I don't know. We will find they out. sing about it. Daniel Zaychek wrote the book and the score. And uh, yeah, production dates, casting, additional creative team to be announced. 
but a musical. Not to be on. determined. Like maybe it's already been determined, but not announced. <laughs> TBD or TBA? It's to be determined and announced okay. at a later date. Cool. There you go. Casting has been announced for this new off-Broadway play. Yep, it's called The Pain of My Belligerence. Ooh. Wow, that's like my autobiography. <laughs> that's a title. <laughs> um, so, Trip Coleman is directing it. We know him. We uh, do. Stage alums, Hamish Linklater, you love him. He's so talented. He's fantastic. He's great. Uh, and it says right here, seminar. He was in seminar, but he's been in a lot of things. Yeah, and he does but a lot of... that was on Broadway. It seminar. was on Broadway. Uh, and Vanessa Kai of K-pop. Remember K-pop? I do oh, remember that's K-pop. Come that's back. great. Everyone loved it. Special. Anyway, uh, they will join Haley Pfeiffer in the new play, The Pain of My Belligerence. And who wrote it? Haley Pfeiffer. Aha. Uh-huh. So they have a co-star who also wrote it. So you got to so memorize right. Yeah, you got to memorize those lines. opinions about <laughs> the reading, line readings. Um, this marks Haley Pfeiffer and Trip Coleman's sixth collaboration. That's They're like the... Um, what are they like? <laughs> they're like uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda and Tommy Kaye. Oh, there you go. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's it tells the story of the fraught power dynamics of a relationship up against a country's current tug of war. Everything's about the current, the current country, right? We like to be current. Uh, the current tug of war of regression and profound awakening regarding gender. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's All not right. about Trump. It's about <laughs> something interesting. It might be. It you might don't be. know. Um, you don't know, Paul. It will play March 29th to May 12th at Playwrights Horizons. And one of our three wishes is coming true tonight. Tonight. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Tonight, <laughs> Aladdin <laughs> is getting a new genie. Michael Will J- Smith? <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's later. I that's told you Max song. Crumb is very entertained right now. <laughs> Michael James Scott. <gasps> we know him. He is fantastic. And he is going to step into Aladdin on Broadway, replacing Major Attaway, who played his final performance He's l- ma- Major last night. Attaway. He's yep. Major. Uh, Major Attaway is going to the North American tour and will return. But we know, we already said all this. Mm-hmm. We're just like giving a little shout out to Do you think Major Attaway ever Michael considered joining the military? <laughs> you can that's ask. His name. That's, that's his name. That's his name. It's a very entertaining. <laughs> you know who we have with us? A major star. We do. Oh, that was good. And You're a winner. Welcome. You're welcome. A winner is here. Hey, Caitlin, uh, tell everyone about Mr. Max Crumb. Good hey, Beth, have a nice week. Oh, vacation. Oh, Beth's going on vacation. I'll oh, see you all bye. in a week. Beth won't be here next week. We're going to miss her terribly, but have a great time. I'll be we'll a little s- tan when we'll I get We'll see back. you in March. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that long. <laughs> yes, everybody, we have Max Crumb here in the studio with us today because he's here to talk about the release of the original off-Broadway cast album of The Evolution of Man, which played at the Cell Theater in fall 2018. Did you miss it? I hope not, but if you did, you can listen to it now. He's appeared on Broadway in Grease and Disaster, and some of his off-Broadway credits include The Connector, Hot Mess, The Fantastics, and a whole lot more. Uh, You might have seen him on screen in quite a few things. Those things include The Wallflowers, Ray Donovan, and some others great things easy as well. Easy A is good. And yeah, Easy A. He's an Easy A. See that. Just go follow him on social media at Max Crum on Instagram. Leave all of your questions in the comments below. And please welcome Max and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. You're welcome. Hello. I'm remembering to thank her. Yes. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Caitlin. You know, it's, we're very uh, Showbiz. gracious. We're gracious here. Uh, yeah. How are you, Mr. Max Crum? I'm great, thanks. Good thank you so you. much for... Good to see Always you. Always good to see you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for it's having me. It's been a while. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen you, like, walking around or... Really? Sometimes I run into you, like... Right, you know, right, yeah. right. I haven't seen... I think last I seen you time... on I, social media. I think... Right. Mm-hmm. I see you on social media, too. Yeah. yeah we're both we both have social media. I have accounts. I think I have... Last time I was here was promoting Hot Mess. Yes. Which was right Which on was the a, same block as the show. Yes. That was an off-Broadway show. It was. But yeah. that did not have an album release because it was just a play. Interesting. Yeah, they don't do that. Yeah, Sometimes otherwise... Sometimes record plays. Right. But, but people don't listen to them. Maybe Nobody, that's like... Audible. You should have gotten oh, the, I hot, guess. The, hot, the hot mess Audible didn't oh, happen. Yeah, no. They're doing plays now. Right. If only they had been doing them then. Exactly. Maybe I would have been on one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so what, what are we talking about? Uh, you're, you're singing. I am. People, um, you're singing in front of microphones. Yeah, I am. I'm singing in front. <laughs> well, yeah, that's <laughs> essentially what it is. Unless you want. Unless you yeah, want to I can something. sing anything you want. Okay. Um, but basically, this is Would just the. Would you really the... sing anything I want? Yeah. I'm a baritone, though, just so you know. So you wouldn't sing like uh, hopelessly devoted to you? Yeah. You would. Yeah. Could you give me a little of that? But like a folk version. Not like the Laura Osnes version. I can't ever give any Laura Osnes versions oh, of He things. was in Greece, Laura Osnes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won that contest. Remember that? T- remember they used to make TV shows about they did. about casting Broadway shows? Aww. Remember when they used to do live musicals on TV? Yes. Not anymore. Like three weeks ago. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Wait, so going back to it, Sorry. evolution. No, no, no. Evolution of man. You're not going to say it. was a, I can no, right no, now. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to put that you on the spot. Yeah. You, okay. Anyway. Evolution of Man evolution was an off-Broadway musical. Evolution of Off-Broadway musical at the Cell last year. Okay. It ran, I think, for like two months. Okay. Which is wonderful for mm-hmm. an original off-Broadway show. Um, it's written by Dan Elish and Doug Cohen. Mm-hmm. Dan Elish wrote the book for 13, and yep. Doug Cohen is like an amazing musical genius. So I, I hate Grande? that I said that because he's going to love that. Uh, does, does the first guy know Dan Ariana does, Grande? of course, yeah. Oh and my then, God. Oh my so God. this, my big scene partner in this is Allie Trim, who starred in yes, 13. I love Her voice is amazing. Everybody listen to It's Only a First Date. This song is going to take over. It's like a standalone. Heidi Blickenstaff already sings a version that's viral mm-hmm. online. So it's like literally amazing. I also have like a bonus. Bonus. Ew, I said bonus. <laughs> <laughs> a okay. bonus. It's Friday. LGBTQ it's version of that song where I still use the he, him pronouns and sing it at the end. So that's cool. So oh. for all the like musical theater gays who want to have an audition song to sing about a boy. Oh, so it, it sounds like this cast album might be uh, dealing with the current tug of war of regression and profound awakening regarding gender too. Well, uh, it's a bonus track, so oh, okay. really the show is just, <laughs> it's, is about uh, it's a musical I'm, comedy. Yeah, it's like a romantic comedy. It's like mm-hmm. a very it's a great nod to like romantic comedies, I would say, because it's like fun, crazy. It's about this guy named Henry Mann. He's trying to find a date to his ex fiance's wedding. It's very like classic fun, but the music is like really what mm-hmm. sells this uh-huh. trope. Right, you yeah. immediately loved it. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of? I know you get asked to do a lot of uh, do new, I? new musical. Works. I do get asked. You know, yeah. people ask you to like sing their songs either in front of microphones. I can't get seen or... for a dusty old musical to save my life. So, um, what what do you like look for? Like, what do you? What kind of things? Jobs like, like excite you. Uh, and, and I've seen you be really funny, and you're very um, yeah. endearing and hilarious Thanks, on stage. Thanks, and dude. That, that's sort of your brand. I, I think I try to like stick to rich people passion projects that like <laughs> close quickly. I don't like money, and I like art. So like that's you're not like, looking for a long run. No, no, I'm you're not looking, looking for a long run. I'm looking for a career. You know what I mean? It's not a lifestyle for me. Yeah. it's like a job. You like dipping in. To yeah. Projects. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I think it's mostly, I just get seen for that stuff. You know, like people don't really see me as that like soaring tenor. I'm also just my own thing, I mm-hmm. think. And I'm really grateful that people are even seeing that because mm-hmm. like not a lot of people get opportunity. So yeah. it's really cool to actually get to be in all this new stuff. Yeah. Know? And I love it. And it's very. Like, I think it's because I have like a contemporary sort of like more pop. Right. Voice. It's contemporary modern music. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Fun. What else? Yeah. What else are you up to? What are to? you up to? I don't know. What are you up to? Oh, um, see yeah, what, what else is uh, going stuff. on in life? How are things? Life's good. Yeah. Um, let's see. What could I What could I say? I don't know what I could say. Um, are you excited about the new Tina? Yes. Are, are you, um, I'm very excited. I also just saw Be More Chill, uh, oh. their first preview. Oh, I haven't seen and it I got yet. a very special hat. I that, got a Be More Chill. That seems first very on hat. brand for Max Crumb. It be is, more and chill. it's very like it. Yeah, and like maybe I'll be in Be More Chill one day. You'd be into that. You'd, you would be in Be More Chill. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I love there. all those people. But how was it? How I was, love it. Oh, I, I know, love it so much. Group. Joe Iconis to me is like the Muppet King of like honky tonk musicals. The honky tonk Muppet King. Yes, of he, he's gonna love wow. that. Wow, I love that. And I just love it. I thought it was so good. But yeah. anyway, awesome. You know. yeah. Do you, are there any like classic? Roles you would like to play? Like, Seymour, oh. the Baker. Um, do you, so, I love when actors like struggle to answer that, and you were like, "This, this." Well, the thing <laughs> is, is I don't think I'll ever play a role that's like already been done anymore. Like I don't, I haven't done a show that's not a new show in right. ten years. I don't know. Right, that's it's really weird. interesting. So I'm like, how do I even get into that headspace? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Again, dusty old. No, who, I'm would, just who would be your ideal? Um, because I think it's a actually tough role to cast. Who's your ideal Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors? Because I, I feel like they don't cast it right sometimes. I'm just putting it out there. Mm. Honestly, the original Faith Prince. Oh. She didn't get to do it though. I know she did it off Broadway. I can't. I finally just saw a picture of mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Bygone mm-hmm. Broadway put it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's Thanks, right. Craig Burns. And That's I was right. like, oh my god! I finally saw a picture of Faith Prince as. Audrey. It's amazing. She's incredible. Uh, yeah. But I would say probably Ali Trim. You were on Broadway with Faith Prince. Mm-hmm. Yes. In Disaster. So you actually know her. Mm-hmm. Like, could you text her and say, yeah. let's do a little shop? Well, no. Would you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she'd be like, okay, honey. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> but I would do it with Ali Trim or Lauren Marcus. Uh -huh. I would start opposite them and I enjoy them. I think Ali Trim's voice is crazy. We just work together. If you listen, you'll see this album and you'll hear how great we sound she, together. She is fantastic. She is. Yeah. I adore uh, her too. Do you? I do. Tell me about how you adore her. Well, I mean, I remember seeing Thirteen and being like, right. th that girl like kind of like blew my mind." Like, yeah, her voice is insane. Yeah, Did I you wasn't see Bye really Bye paying attention to Ariana Grande. I was like, "Look at Ali Trim." Yeah, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then Ariana Grande is like, yeah, yeah. it's weird. She's a pop star now. Showbiz. Yeah, yeah. showbiz. Show Listen, <sighs> put a high pony. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so, is this album available yet? Yeah, today. Oh, today, right now, like if Spotify, I went, if iTunes. I go, if I went in the uh, in the store, yep. if yep. I went in the store, it would yep. be it would be there. Can I have a sip of that? Yeah, totally. It's I'm coffee. Sorry. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I don't have cooties. You're lucky. I'm just up here sounding like my pastor's wife at a prayer. Like, we hello, have, we everyone. We should have offered you a drink. That's okay. I have one. I, I did. Was, I, I got him one. a seltzer. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. I got you two I just seltzers. Was like, sometimes, like the moisture leaves me in an interview, and it's like. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you nervous? Am I making you nervous? No, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? Do you have any, like, um, I'm writing a screenplay with my best friend. I want to hear about that. Um, I can't really say anything about it. Great. But How long have you been it's writing a it? sci fi um, horror comedy, teen Ooh. comedy. Um, and it's going to be wonderful. We've been writing it for almost a year. We're Is almost it finished. Totally original or based yeah, on something? It's absolutely Ooh. original. I'm very excited. Um, and What's your writing process like? Are you like good at like. Like we like... talk for months and months and don't write. <laughs> and then one day we'll sit down and write like 15 pages. And then yeah. it's like, okay, we got those. <laughs> Let's talk for three more months. Cool. Until we write again. Uh -huh. It's just, it's, that's how we figured out how to write with each other. She's my best friend from growing up though. So like we finally oh. in our thirties have figured out how to write together. What's her name? Which is awful. Kelly May. Oh. I'm going to send you her, her resume actually. She should work here. Is she's she moving to New York. Employment? Yeah. And she's like, she's amazing. You're getting all kinds of things done here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She's like yeah, checking out the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boxes. Anyway, that's, that's it. That's all. That's what I'm up to. I'm going to do, uh, hopefully, we're yeah. doing The Connector again, which is Jason Robert Brown's new yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. How, um, and how many times have you done it? Did you do it? We've done all the readings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last year. I was going to go to that, and then I got sick. Oh, I'm how so were you? sorry. How were you? Were it was you great. Good? I was great. Um, it's starring Nick Blameyer, me, do you know who Jessica Malaski is, you guys? Yes. Because she sings the Stars on the Moon in the original cast of, mm. what is it? Songs for a New World, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say Parade. I was, I was. Like, I was. Parade is that too, weird? But that's like, not really, she is. Really have anyway, it's up. a beautiful cast. It's like, a sh it's set in the 90s. And he, Jason Robert Brown's newest song that he's written, he wrote for me. I know. I know. So he's writing for your voice. Yeah. So it's crazy. I get to be insane. I get to, it's a very crazy part. <laughs> Hope I still get to be it, but yeah. Yeah, I, and I then, so it's been, it's moving along. And Daisy Prince is directing it. So but that's you can't great. get, uh, in, when you're in the industry, you can't get too like hopeful, right? Because sometimes you will keep working on projects. And although Jason Robert Brown kind of has a good. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm just dead inside, so I don't get really hopeful <laughs> anyway, you know? But uh, no, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if he put any of his King Kong songs in the connector because he wrote King Kong. I don't think so. Okay. Jason likes to Just like, it out Jason there. gets rid of his dead songs. He doesn't try to repurpose. Is that I've really learned true? that. Yeah, if he's like, he writes an amazing song, he's like, doesn't work. Graveyard. It's wow. crazy. Doesn't that seem like a shame? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe one day he'll what make like an album. Of all of we them. need to find that graveyard and find all the, that, the sheets of music. And have a seance. Later. <laughs> and bring them back to life. That's right. Bring them back to life. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Caitlin Moynihan. Yes. Content producer, Caitlin Moynihan. Yes, that's me. Um, she's the third Caitlin. You know, we have three Caitlins here. That's what she was saying. Yeah. She was saying just holler Caitlin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. one of us will come. Uh, it's not really information for right now, but I just brought <laughs> it up. Um, are there any questions? Yes, Mr. Max of Crumb? course. Uh -oh. Yes, we do have the charming questions. Charming Max Crumb? Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, actually... Someone else named Max here. wants to know, how does it feel to see that your now closed off-Broadway show Hello. has a new life and like more people get to listen to it now? How does that feel? It feels amazing. Mm -hmm. First of all, anybody who works in theater knows that if you get to record a show, that's where it lives on. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Especially these cool off-Broadway shows. Our show's a little bit like I Love You, You're Perfect. A little bit, mm -hmm. I'd like to say that. But the music sounds like that, and so now people you can hear You didn't say no change, it. you just said I Love You, You're Perfect. Because I'm a theater kid. You're keeping it positive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, now change is the 
Negative. But yeah. uh, but I don't know. I, I I think it's a way for it to live on, and other people that maybe couldn't afford to come see the show or all that didn't get to see it get to see the show yeah. in their minds and listen to it and hear like all the beautiful music, which is yeah. mm-hmm. I think anybody who does theater just you hope you get to do an album. Yeah, yeah. One day. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Uh, Karen wants to know. Oh, Karen wants to know what has it been like to kind of look back and see all the cool projects you've been able to do and the new things you've been able to do since doing Grease and you know oh, all that jazz. Well, Karen, uh, I'm grateful. That's like all I could say. I mean, mm-hmm. I, it's it's not lost on me that this is like so cool that I get to do this, especially mm-hmm. because of all these people that voted for me. Mm-hmm. Anytime someone is like, "I voted for you," I still give them like. Do you ever the think biggest hug. Do you ever think they're lying? I don't care at this point. Okay. I, like, I give them a big hug, and it's like, thank you, because that's mm-hmm. the reason I get to do it, and it's mm-hmm. still amazing. Like, I'm still so grateful. Like, it's crazy mm-hmm. that I get to do it, because I was raised in theater as well, mm-hmm. so it's kind of cool that I get to do it. Yeah. And it is. It's, I don't know. I don't like to reflect too much on, like, all my old stuff, because it's like, I don't know. I'm, like, annoyed with myself. <laughs> it really is, by the way. The album really is out. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, We're not lying. lying. <laughs> this is a fire festival. It has a nice cover. And I'm glad that when when um, Ryan, the publicist, walked in, I said, do you have a copy of the CD? And I'm really glad he said no, because we get CDs sent to our office, and there's nothing to put to them? them in. Oh. <laughs> What do you what, what uh, do you, do do you with just them? need like a flash drive? Some of the younger people here don't oh, even that? know what they are. You guys listen to Coasters. this. So this, this is, is Ali what's Trim. Your favorite this song? is Ali Trim. Oh, you're not going to hear it. Oh, eat. you are? No. no. Put in oh, it's no, in your headphones. Yeah. Got it. But what? Wait, The Tale of the Otter? Yeah, that's a cute song. It's about, look, like, because in the show, Henry Mann is a um, a children's like book writer. And these are some lyrics. We don't want to be flagged for copyright. <gasps> oh, really? Will you? Turn it off. Wait, oh, yeah. you, no, you can listen to 15 seconds. Um, <laughs> oh, totally hard. Point. There's a song called Hard. It's about a boner. Is it really? There's yeah, a boner it's song? It's our first day that we're dancing and he, I get a boner. Wow. It's a wow. very funny, silly show. Have you ever gotten a boner in a show before? All the time. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever sung about it? So, no. No. Mm-hmm. All, during a show? Wait till you do Little Shop <laughs> with Faith <laughs> Friends. One time I did get a boner while doing You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown on accident when I was Linus and I was a teenager, but I just hit it with my blanket. That's good that you had that. Uh, I was grateful. <laughs> grateful for that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Another good track is Bows. Yeah, oh my God, that's my favorite bowing. song. It's like Do you ever play that one and Bowser? bow at home? Like do the curtain call at home? Always, yeah. <laughs> I like to trigger myself, so that's what I actually wake up with in the morning. Like, uh, like uh, oh, I should be bowing. <laughs> These are good. I, yeah, I like these. These, you are, like good, the song these are good titles? song titles. I'm into Click the song. It's Only a First Date because people should hear a second of Alley Trim singing. That's Jokes, it. but you won't meet his folks because it's only a She's first a beautiful voice. Day. This song is about to be everywhere. I'm not kidding. Why didn't I see this show? Why didn't you invite me to it? Uh, <laughs> ooh, I don't know. I'm not like a publicist. I'm just an no, actor. That's true. that's true. It's not really your job. Yeah. I and we like know my each job other. To be like, I'm just kidding. I, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, I last saw Ellie Trim um, in Allegiance in California. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was in that. Yeah. I know. And then they replaced her. Well, I'm... It's a sore spot. Well, a lot of people get replaced. <laughs> For you? <laughs> yeah. I don't like when anyone I know gets replaced. Yeah, well, that's... The, but also, the, I get it. The it's business is sucks. weird. Yeah. <clears throat> business, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And on I'm that sorry. note... You're wearing, like, a summery shirt. Do you love it? It's like winter. No, you look great, but, like, it looks like you could be going to the beach after this. I am. That's active. Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> Glad. Yeah. For the long weekend. But thank you, yeah. No, what do I you just... do on President's Day? Uh, Honor same thing president. I do every day. Sleep, uh, which is sleep. Is that what you're gonna say? Sleep, chill, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. No big three day weekend plans. Nothing this year. Okay. Okay, you have to have time. Hey, uh, Caitlin, what else are people saying? Okay, this can be your last question. Whoa. So I oh, know yeah. we gotta go. Uh, okay, so you kind of already Thank answered this already, but Ben right. wants to know that what is like your dream like classic role or long term. Well, we said role. that. We but talked ben about. Ben Platt wants to know. Ben Platt would like to know oh, that's which him, yeah. other what, a hey, classic ben. role uh, other than Seymour. Uh-huh. Other than Seymour. And what was the other one? A classic role other than yeah. the Baker and what the could Baker? I, uh, I don't know. Leo Bloom. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't know though. Nobody really. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know a classic role. Like I, I would love to be in something. Uh, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. <gasps> that needs I think to come. That back. it. It is. It, it is. is. My great grandpa was in that. Maybe. Oh really? 
We gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> We actually don't have a hard out on this show, oh, so if you have something really important to say, you guys <laughs> ask <laughs> more <laughs> questions. Actually, Kyle has places to go. The guy behind oh, the sorry, the, Kyle. Behind the board. He has he has things to do. He's a very busy. Yeah, guy. yeah. Well, very this was great. Guy. Thank you for doing this. Of um, Paul Wantrek, you guys. He stopped by the offices today. We just wanted to thank. Do you him know that for... today is the first day of my twentieth year at Broadway.com? What? Yeah, you're my first. Oh, my His God. career my can almost year. drink now. Yeah. And so I will. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's coffee in there. Look at this. Promise. Rude actors are just taking your coffee. And I've known you probably since like year. Uh huh. What year did that happen? Ten, 2007. Seven. Okay. Well, that was year seven. So it's yeah, been right? a while. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. so crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Oh God. Congratulations. Thank, thank you, you for doing this. It's not about me. It's about honestly, your new no, album. But seriously, thank you because like you created a space mm -hmm. for theater and for theater people and not everybody did that, dude. That was not why I brought up my anniversary. It, it is. It's actually an a cue card. I had to say that. a long time. Um... <laughs> Mr. Max Crumb, thank you so much. Yeah, hey, everyone, I'm going to download it immediately. The Evolution of Man, it's everywhere digital, everywhere music is sold. Isn't that what the kids say? Yeah, it is. Everywhere, everywhere digital. music is sold, including, like, probably for slots. Phones. And Oh, yeah. But, yeah, you're not going to. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, Happy yeah. President's Thanks Day. Thanks for having, having me. Hey, Caitlin. Uh, yes. Why don't you take us out? Gladly. Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at five every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us in a podcast version by searching for hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in on Tuesday. We talk to Book of Mormons, Cody Jamison Strand, about his upcoming concert at Green Room 42.